Now, Rita, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to say this. I've never been to your house, but I would guess just based on what I know of Rita on TV and Rita on the radio. I'm just yeah, you look, listen, just, I'm just guessing that Rita, if, if somebody is in your house having a meeting about you, essentially under your roof, having a meeting about you and you're not invited to that meeting, I think, <laughs> Hey, I think the NFL chicks will have a real problem with that. You know, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. So you had a meeting in my family room, in my family, in, in my house, and you didn't invite me to the meeting. You are talking about me? I like, I, what, what, what's going on here? That's a problem. Uh, am I right or am I right? Correct. Okay. So let me tell you, my brother Robert Sala. Let me tell you, my brother, my good brother from another Robert Sala. Uh, brothers in boldness, brothers in vision. Hey, man, when they have a players only meeting at this point of the season, you're struggling. I need to have a mole in there. Forget about a mole. I got to be there. Sorry. Sorry. We can't. Hey, brothers. Hey, this is family. This is family. We're all in this together. This is not like I don't want the players only meeting on your off day. They got together on their off day. They had a players only meeting. Jets are struggling. There's probably some talking about, oh, he's not going to change at quarterback. What's happening? This is a, this is ominous. I would not feel great about this meeting. Rita, how about you? No, I mean, ultimately, this is, this is very bad for business. And look, I also posted in my feed about Salah, his, his loyalty tied to Zach Wilson. I don't know if this is forced by the GM and the Johnson family, or this is a decision that he's making, but if it is his decision, he's putting his job on the line, quite frankly, because I'm sure Zach Wilson is a nice kid. Okay. But what he is not is a very good football player. He has at times played well since he's been the starter again, but that pick at the end of that Raiders game was, was, uh, malpractice okay brother you can't be doing stuff like that your team has literally put you in a position to help you win this football game and you just cannot throw that pick now look it was a good play from the defender of course um but ultimately you just you know it took away all of the good that he found in that game and i feel like that that's just been who zach wilson has been so i'm confused as to why we're still here we know the situation that happened last year holly when the guys Um, after he didn't apologize, when the guys had their shirts on and stuff. And I'm not saying that they're in in that same place, right? I'm sure that they've kissed and made up since then, but we, they know what we all know, which is Zach Wilson is not going to be the guy that's going to help this team propel into the playoffs. I know it's cute that we think that Aaron Rodgers can somehow, some way come back and save this franchise in December and play football games. It's going to be too little, too late. So what is the deal here? Do you, I don't know who their backup quarterback is. And I felt like I didn't even need to do do the research on Trevor Simeon. Okay, so we've seen Trevor Simeon in Denver. We know how this goes. At this point, I am willing to see if Trevor Simeon can at least just be a game manager at this point because your defense is good. Your skill players is good. Sounds a lot like what I just said about the Browns, right? But ultimately, you're in a division that, yes, Miami is playing well, but the other teams aren't playing well either. So why don't you do something different? And the fact that he's riding with Zach Wilson, to me, is problematic because the guy, the kid ain't it. He's just not. Okay. All right. Listen, I, I, I want to hear from Robert Sala and then let, let's uh, let's uh, quickly unpack this because I, I have some theories. Okay. Uh, here's Robert Sala talking about Zach Wilson. Are you planning any changes here, whether it's to quarterback or, or the way that you guys are calling the game or anything like that? No, we're, we're talking there's nothing with the quarterback, nothing with the play caller. Uh, we are going to, you know, we're just looking at things in, with regards to schematically, the things that we can do differently. When speaking about Zach, you know, I, I, I get it. You know, there's, there's, there's a yearning for more or whatever it is. It is hard to make changes just to make changes, uh, just to pacify something, uh, and especially when someone's not deserving. If he was deserving of it, I got you. Like, let's change something. But... And that's really for every position. That's that's a that's that's a coach. That's a player. That's defensive play. It doesn't matter. All right. So uh, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that uh, this is not on Salah. 
it's not on Salah. I, 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 I'm going to use hard evidence and circumstantial evidence to come to my conclusion that uh, Salah does not truly believe that because he's made it. He's made changes before. Robert Salah is not afraid to bench the number two pick in the draft. A guy that he advocated for, a guy he stumped for because he did it last year. So he's already done it. It's nothing new to him. It's not controversial. He's got Aaron Rodgers. He's got the support of uh, the New York fan base. Even the mascot, Joe Namath, has the support. <laughs> has, has, yeah, it said, hey, go ahead and do it. So if he's got all the support and he's done it before, <laughs> what does that mean? Somebody else doesn't want it to happen. Ownership? Right. Why not? I don't know. Right. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, could it be? Um, I, I don't. I, I have no. I have no idea. Is it? I want to see my money working. Uh, even though number two pick in the draft, not making that much money. There's something. Could it be Aaron Rodgers saying no? Stick with Zach Wilson. I think there are forces greater than Robert Sala making this happen because on the surface, most coaches want to win today. They're not thinking about yep. the picture. They're not thinking about your feelings. He's done it already. This is not on Salah. It's on somebody else. The question is who? Who did it? Who done it? That's a valid point. That's very valid because you're right. He did do this last year. So it is somebody that's speaking in his ear. The problem that I have with this though, Holly, is that if this does not work and somehow he gets fired, he's scapegoated because of this, because of this decision of continuously playing a guy that just simply is not playing at a high level that the Jets need to win football games. So that's my concern. Who's the real puppet master here? And if everything goes down at the end, if a situation happens where he gets fired, are they going to reveal themselves because we like you said you you've already admitted to the fact that he's done this before so we know it's not him it's somebody doing this hey thank you for watching brother from another if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that now don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on peacocktv.com and on sirius xm channel 85